Josh. Stop. Stop! I'm stronger than you! Y'all know how much I love cooking out of boxes. It is a super fast way to cook a meal at home, but there are more creative ways to cook than the recipes I got in the back. So today, Josh and I are each gonna make our own recipe using Hamburger Helper, but only one will be good enough to go. On the back of the box. It's time for another episode of Unbox Recipe! So today, I'm gonna be making stroganoff queso with crispy noodle chips. And I'm making macaroni cheeseburger balls. <laughs> balls, mm, those do sound good. <laughs> Balls with that. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, what's the one thing that makes noodles more better? Oil? Yeah, pretty much. So we took the stroganoff noodles, which when I was a kid, I remember these being much bigger. But I realized when I was a kid, I was just much smaller. So the noodles were technically much bigger. So I imagine these being chip sized because my idea was to fry these into chips. My idea, to be clear, is still to fry these into chips. And that's what I intended to do. So I have the oil at about 350. And yeah, Nicole, just start dropping noodles in there. Should I like separate them? Don't worry about separating them too much. I think you kind of want nice big clusters. Like when you get a nacho plate and two of the nachos are stuck together, that yeah. still technically counts as one nacho. That's like the best part of the nachos when the little foldy over yes. and it gets a little sour cream in there and then like beans and stuff. Oh. And when you ask someone if you can have a nacho and then you try and find the cheese structure yeah. to where it connects so you can pick up one nacho but it's actually eight nachos. Oh my gosh. That's scamming, baby. But anyways, these are looking kind of crispy and this is almost like akin to a fried wonton strip. You want one? Whoa, yeah, but I want to wait until it's cooled down a little bit. Oh my Powered. gosh. That's like 300 degree oil that you just popped in your mouth. The key is when you do that, you got to pull saliva in your mouth and that oh way it my cools gosh. it. Do you really not feel anything right now? No, never. No, oh my gosh, bro. So we're gonna drain these and then we're gonna repeat the process till we just get a nice big old bowl of noodle chips. Cool. What are you doing? Um, we're gonna find out real soon. Nicole, what are you doing? <laughs> Why is this funny? That was it, that was, that was, that was opening my opening line. line. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, Nicole, I'll do it again. Nicole, what are you doing? <laughs> I try, Nicole, what are you doing? We're gonna make the meatballs, Josh. You have breadcrumbs, but you also have noodles. What I did was I took the noodles and I cooked them according to the directions of the box. Why aren't you deep frying them? Because there's no need to deep fry them. What do you mean no need to deep fry? <laughs> Josh. This does not compute within my brain. <laughs> These are actually better when you bake them. <laughs> that sounds crazy the to me. The first thing I want you to do, can you grate half of this onion straight into this bowl? Yes, I can. That'd be great. Josh. You have to tenderize your onions. Josh. If you don't tenderize your onions, you gotta Okay, how much onion am I grating? Uh, most of it. I'm also gonna take half of my cheese powder and I'm going to hydrate it in my milk, which is also gonna be a thickening agent. I got noodles in the onion. It's okay, no, Josh, 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 Josh. Stop, stop, I'm stronger than you, stop. <laughs> What's your meatball theory? What's a meatball theory? Everyone has a meatball theory. What's yours? What's, what's yours? yours? No, no this <laughs> isn't about me, Nicole. This is about you. What's your meatball theory? I believe that you should put panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and an egg into your meatballs. I believe that meatballs are spying on us for the government. Sometimes I think the words that come out of my mouth were just created by like, uh, what's the lorem ipsum? I think that's what's happening. Do you mean Cleverbot? I'm like a walking glitch in the matrix. You guys know about Cleverbot? Do you remember Smarter Child on yes. AIM? Yes, it was so much fun. You could talk to computers all day. Yeah, there and AIM, before there was any like Siri, there was an AIM bot when you didn't have enough friends to talk to, you yeah. talk to a computer. What was your AIM screen name? Big Ball of Chubbs. Big Ball of Chubbs? Because I was With chubby. With a Z? With yeah. a Z? That's impressive. What was yours? Gosh underscore she underscore owns underscore. That is a perfect metaphor for how you and I both turned out in terms of confidence <laughs> levels. And what do I do? I just massage Yeah, we're just meat. doing this together. <laughs> what did you want me to put the glove on for if not to massage the meat? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, give it a good scoop. Is this good? You want to pack it's it? A, yeah, you do want to pack it a little bit. You're getting... Who taught you how to scoop meatballs? You did. <laughs> You're not very good at it. So you just take it and you just Oh, it. that looks way better. Yeah, than what is this? Well, That's what I was you were doing. Quick. What you is told that? me to. So you're using the scoop, but then Josh. you're just mashing it with your hands. Yeah, yeah, but like clean it up a little bit. Care. Or, yeah, care. Be deaf. TLC. This feels good. Yeah, see? No, see, that one's nah, not good. Not pack it back. Yeah, no, up. you know, you can also empty you it out. Finger it. No, <laughs> When are you going to admit that this is a flawed process? Josh. There's just giant macaronis in your new bowl. It's going <laughs> to add to the texture. I called them nude bowls for a sec. <laughs> okay, now you can pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes. Go ahead, Josh. You can do it. Nicole, what are you? What are you doing? Put them in the oven, Josh. My hands are covered in raw meat. Nicole. Yeah. What are we doing? Josh, this is your part of the recipe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so we're making our stroganoff queso. So, yeah. Nicole, what I need you to do is punch that onion as hard as you can. Really? Yeah. It's not gonna hurt. You be confident. 
That's great. So then, can you just chop that up really quickly? I'm gonna punch sure. this tomato clean in half. <gasps> so then, Josh. That's how you deseed a tomato. Josh. I'm not gonna apologize for my cooking. You're gross, man. We have the tomato deseeded. <laughs> can you cut me two tablespoons of butter? <laughs> exactly two tablespoons. Put that in there. So we're gonna get that butter working, and uh -huh. then we're gonna toss in our beef. I'm just using normal <laughs> ground beef. This is actually pretty lean because we have a lot of fat from the butter, and then we got a lot of onion from the onions. Toss in the ground beef. Josh, the way that you punch these things doesn't really help me in any way, shape, or no, form. No, I deseeded it. You grab the tomato, and you punched it. Now there's all these seeds. Shut it down! <laughs> Classic John Taffer. There's mold behind the bar! Is that how we They're sound? paying customers! <laughs> That's good. We're kind of going for like a classic queso feel, mm -hmm. the way that people make it with like the Rotel canned tomatoes. This is nice. Like this is like the calm part now. You know, you got all your aggression out. Yeah, that's why I punch my vegetables to get this just quiet tsunami of rage boiling inside me out. We want this to all kind of sweat and get some juices out. Okay. Do you think there's buttermilk powder in this? Uh, no, there's ricotta. There's whey. There's a lot of stuff. That's what's fun about cooking with stuff like hamburger helper. Ricotta? Those. You can, yeah, there's like dehydrated ricotta in there. No way. The ricotta. The ricotta. It's in the packet. Pour it in! Actually? Yeah. All of it? Yeah, all of it, all of it, all of it. So now we're gonna stir this together and you're mm -hmm. gonna see it actually absorbs all the juices, which is what we wanted. Wow. Nicole, you wanna pour in, start with about a quarter of that milk and then we're gonna try and build the sauce up. That's a thick daddy sauce. Thick daddy. Did Looking you... browner than I intended. <laughs> West Texas tradition, the old queso, como se dice brown in espanol? Uh, moreno. You know the old West Texas tradition, queso moreno. <laughs> Con Velveeta e Gravy. <laughs> yeah, I was initially imagining more of a reddish color, and this is like a pale brown. Yeah. Uh, keep adding milk. Keep it adding looks milk. Add like more milk. Soaking off. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I got a plan. Oh, oh, oh. We're just gonna go ahead and add go. a small dash of hot sauce. <gasps> just a little bit. Just a little bit to try and make it more redder. So you do want a Colorado. Now, now it's kind of like Pepto Bismol meets baby bonnet. What if we try some paprika, maybe? Yeah, grab the yeah? paprika. Okay. Grab the paprika. Okay, okay, okay. It'll I'm make it, because this it. is, wow, what a beautiful shade of this color. This is why we work together, even though we're in competition with one another. That's good, that's good. How much paprika is that? Like a fourth of a cup. I'll give someone $35 if anyone can actually describe accurately what paprika tastes like. Dried red bell pepper. Yeah, but like, you don't actually taste anything. When you add paprika to like a deviled egg or something, you don't taste it. Well, that's because you have a blown out palate. I do. Oh I my do. gosh, it's so pretty it's now. It's so pretty, look at that. Wow. Now that is what I call queso colorado, a southeastern central Texas tradition. <laughs> Josh, look at these ingredients and tell me what we're doing. We're making a cheeseburger macaroni Thousand Island sauce to go on our cheeseburger macaroni meatballs, which are not gonna be as good as our stroganoff queso with crispy noodle chips. It's gonna be so bad. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna be you for a second. <laughs> you can be me, Josh, be me. I'm Nicole, I think eyebrows are a personality. So <laughs> the eyebrows frame your whole entire face. If you have whack eyebrows, your face doesn't look nice. I'm only mad because people think I don't have eyebrows. Yeah, because you they're just really light. So after we shaved my head for a charity a while uh -huh. ago, people were like, oh, you guys shaved his eyebrows too, and I was like, no. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this thousand island. You yeah. want me to do it? Yeah, I would love for you to okay, just take so it away. So what we do, we got white no, squishy. move over, get out of here. What? So this is mayonnaise. I don't like that you're using pre-made pickle relish. No! This is not what this show is about. It's you put effort into some parts and then you also do the lazy way the rest of the way. She's not lying, that is a big tenet of what we do. White vinegar. Ah, so you get a little bit more acid. Salt and our beautiful dehydrated. Nicole, this is gonna be salty as hell. You're salty as hell because my recipe is better than yours. So is this gonna be a meatball sandwich, like a slider? No, you're gonna see. Did you make the... noodle buns? Josh. Where no. are your noodle chips? So you were here when we made them. At what point are we deep frying this mayonnaise? <laughs> if you wanna be Josh, there's three simple steps. Number one, deep fry everything. Oh. Number two, create some sort of pink sauce. Yes. Three, talk about how cannibalism is uh, morally okay. Buy the How To Be Josh program for three easy payments of $19.99, available at mythical.com. Along with our mythical kitchen towels, Wow, Nicole, this looks really <laughs> great. So this is Thousand Island, huh? Yeah. There's 1,000 islands inside this sauce. <laughs> wow, oh my God, have you ever seen something so crazy? Josh, stop it. It has cheese powder, man. No, you can get a can new I taste scoop. It? You can get a new scoop. I want the back. Do you taste Ooh. the cheese? Is it too salty? Do I taste the cheese? That cheese tastes me. <laughs> It's bordering on the level of too salty. But like when you get all the fat from the meat and the little starchy noodles. It's like not like a, like a, like salt. Yeah. It's like salt. It's like salt. <laughs> salt. Salt. Look at these little 
baby onions first of all. You're so cute. Look how cute it is. It's so it's cute. I feel bad punching him, but we have to punch them. <laughs> he like earrings. He's so pretty. Look at him. I He's thought so about pretty. getting diamond stud ones, but then I was like, you'd look like way too much of a douchebag. They're so cute. So can you just like slice them into like little baby rings? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. And I'm gonna take some Colby Jack cheese, which is actually my favorite cheese in the whole entire world. Josh. Are you gonna melt that cheese on there? Yeah. Ooh, I'm, that's exciting. I think the heat of it will melt it, but in the event that it doesn't, my oven is on. I'm brutalizing <laughs> this onion, and not to be funny. How about you? I got it. No, no, no I got it. I got it. I got it. Aww. Aww. It's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my God. He's so cute. I love it. Oh my, oh my God. God. You're gonna be such a good mom. What? I'm Why do you babies? always talk about children around me? What the? F Frick. What? Do you remember the first day you worked here? I said, Nicole, I don't want to hear anything about your personal life. <laughs> well, look at us now. All you and I do is talk about our personal life. You're so bad at this. Man. I know. Give me an easier task. <laughs> Go check on the cheese. So we don't have a full cheese melt, but we got a little bit of a cheese weep. I really love that. What we can start doing is stabbing and assembling. You ready? Oh, you had me at stabbing. Okay. <laughs> Guys, cute. Oh my gosh. Ah! Have you seen a cuter thing? How did you call this recipe booty? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Booties is cute. <laughs> seen a couple. <laughs> look at my own in the mirror a lot. That is the thing I do. You know, I talk about having low self esteem, but sometimes I just look at myself naked in the mirror and I'm like, all right. One time I took a work call when I was just naked in front of the mirror. How'd it feel? Strange, it was like yeah. serious. Would you do it again? Uh, no. And I'm not gonna say who it was at the company that called me, Brian Flanagan, but I was fully <laughs> naked. Never Where do the onions go? I like to put them like right <laughs> Yay! It's like a game at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put it on. You gotta fully flush the meatballs down so they stand. Look You're... at that. Wow. Those oh look my so gosh. fun. This is perfect for like a kid's birthday party or like an anniversary or like after soccer practice. Why do I keep talking about soccer practice? You complain about me saying you made a good mom <laughs> and then you're always talking about soccer practice. Sorry, I'm sorry. You may think that this is a great presentation, but check this out. I'm gonna school you on something. Okay, show me, show me. All right, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slop it all in a bowl. Look at that. Look <laughs> okay. at that slop. All right, but then we're gonna take our chips, our big, bold chips. Look how much queso you're gonna get when you scoop up with one of those chips, and we're just gonna arrange them all around our queso. And then, Nicole, what I need you to do is look at that cilantro. Just look at it? Yep. And so we're gonna take a little bit of pico de gallo, and we're just gonna put a little dollop of pico on top. This is called a queso moreno completo. I got it, it's a South Texarkana. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little dollop of guac. And then you've been looking at that cilantro the whole time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means it's ready. So I'm just gonna pick <laughs> a single cilantro leaf. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, do it. I can do it? Yeah. Yay. And now look at this. It's perfect for an adult-themed birthday party. Not like adult themes, like in a movie. It's perfect for after like a lacrosse scrimmage. I'm proud of this. This looks great. This looks like something I'd order at the, at the Buffalo Wild Wing. That looks like something that would be on the back of a box, like a Triscuit box, because they're always putting cherry tomatoes on stuff. Can you believe that the name of this show is Unboxed Recipes, and that's exactly what we're trying to do? I think they look equally gorgeous. Yeah, I think we did a really good job. I think they're going to taste equally good. I don't know about that. I think we should at least find out. Okay, let's do it. Cool. We got an epic deathmatch showdown here. This is Ollie Frazier. This is Lakers Celtics. This is cheeseburger macaroni balls versus brown sludge. <laughs> All right, let's rock, paper, scissors to see who's eating first. Okay. Rochambeau. Josh, that's so unfair of you to do. You didn't even wait for me. Uh oh. You okay? No, 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 it's fine. You try it. Uh -huh. That'll be the whole thing. If I do that, I'll choke. The balls go right to your throat. Let's look mm. at the positives. The vegetables are so good. I mean, the positives. <laughs> you get all of that hamburger helper flavor, but to me in a really good way because it's such a sharp flavor. I will say the size of these, again, yeah. the balls poke you right in the back of the throat. Yeah, the I think there's a little bit of a size issue. But it is really delicious. It and is I yummy. love that it's low carb except for all the macaroni. <laughs> You're basically like taking all of the components that are in there, but rearranging them in a very fun way. And like you said, kids. Oh, kids. Soccer. Children. Ugh. You would love this, but be careful when you like eat it all. Yeah, you it's a choking choke hazard for you children. Might choke and die. Okay, let's try this. All the paprika that we added really does come through. I kind of love it. I kind of love it too. It is aggressive. But there's still a choking hazard. These chips are dangerous. The chips are dangerous. Is that That's a why soup spoon? the proper way to eat this is to take a Chinese soup spoon and you load it up with queso. Then you put chips on top of it and then. Did you bring me a spoon? Nope. This sucks. So you're making queso cereal? 
That's what this should have been. Uh-huh. This aren't chips and queso, this is queso cereal. Your balls hit me in the back of the throat. My yeah. cheese punches you in the face. We're gonna go hand over the winner on three, two, one, go. We go on go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Duh. That's fantastic. It is it was flat really out good. addictive. It was fantastic. The flavors are on point. The paprika really, really helped with the visual and with and the that flavor. Was you. Oh. So I guess. Nicole, I couldn't have done this without you. You are not technically a loser. I guess I mean, we both win. We all win. This is delicious. You helped out. You're a key player. That little uh What's human his name? Ham. Last name Burger. <laughs> Middle name Helper, Ham Helper Burger. <laughs> I think this needs to be on the back of the Hamburger Helper box. And if you think it needs to be on the back of the box, tweet at Helper with hashtag Unbox Recipe to tell them how you feel. Thank you for watching Mythical Kitchen. We have new recipe videos for you every week. And to tune into A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, listen every Wednesday wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Become Food. We'll see y'all next time. Make your kitchen more mythical with these stickers and magnets. Now available at mythical.com.